Bayat Yehudi leader Naftali Bennett is unconcerned about what Israel will be asked to give up in return for United States President Donald Trump's expected announcements about Jerusalem, he said at the Jerusalem Post Diplomatic Conference Wednesday Bennett was interviewed on stage by Post Diplomatic correspondent Herb Kanan hours before Trump was expected to announce U.S. recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital and begin the process of moving the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Be the first to know, join our Facebook page. Function, D, S, I, D, VAR, J, S, F, J, S equal D get elements but tag name, S, 0, if, D get element beard, ID, return, J, S equal D creatilement, S, J, S dot ID equal ID, J, S, S, R, C equal slash slash connect Facebook dot net slash N underscore us slash all J, S number X, F, B, M, L equal 1 and app ID equal 163414806897, F, J, S parent node insert before, J, S, F, J, S, document, script, Facebook JSSDK, when asked if he worried about a price Israel may have to pay in exchange for U.S. recognition of Jerusalem, Bennett replied, when you do the right thing, there ought not to be a price, Bennett said. We have conditioned ourselves that when the right thing is done, there must be a price, and it's not true. When Canaan asked who deserved credit for Trump's historic moves, Bennett initially replied destiny, but minutes later corrected himself and congratulated Trump and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, his Bayat Yehudi party's rival for votes on the right Bennett joined other speakers at the conference in calling upon other countries to follow America's lead by recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's undivided capital, which he predicted would be seen in retrospect as a big step forward toward regional peace. Israel's strategic patience has paid off, Bennett said. We have been told time and time again that we need to sever pieces of our tiny land in order to be loved. But our sympathy in the world dropped when we gave up land. We may have gained sympathy for a couple days but derision long term. The world respects countries that are strong. Asked about Iran's criticism of the move, he said, when I see Iran's supreme leader Sayyid Ali Hosseini Khomeini attacking Israel, I know we must be doing something right. The interview concluded with Bennett calling criminal probes of Netanyahu fluff and noise and saying that, in a country of law, mere indictments do not topple a government voted in by millions of people. Share on Facebook Share on Twitter Tags, Naftali Bennett J Post Conference Conference Donald Trump U.S. Embassy U.S. Embassy Move to Jerusalem